Hi, I'm Phyllis from the Doll Corner, and welcome to my channel. And welcome any new subscribers, and anybody that's stopping by, welcome. And if you would like to subscribe, so you'll skip my chat, my video every time I put it up. You'll get a notice. Well, today what I wanted to show you was. I've been working on some old doll clothes around here, getting them. Well, the elastic was gone in the back of this one. And they needed to be cleaned, so I washed them and ironed them. And how I washed them was I took, well, a jar. I have a peanut butter jar here. And I filled it with some detergent. And I just put them in and let them soak for a while. And then I'd come in and give it a shake. And then I would uh, leave it sit. Some of them I left, depending on it, if they were soiled or badly, how long I left them. And I think they came out pretty nice. Now there's a little bit of fringe around here yet that the, needs to be trimmed. And I just take the phrase off because they didn't, they never surged them. They didn't do anything. So if the fabric frayed, that was the way they made them. So I thought that was, a, these are little outfits that I would say the late 60s, early 70s. And this is a cute little outfit. It was on a. I think a 24 inch doll. That's kind of a cute outfit. So it did up well too. I uh, was a little nervous that maybe the red might run, but it didn't. I was afraid maybe the white might get too much. But anyway, that wasn't what I was going to show you today. I, today I want to show you how to fix the elastic when it goes around a sleeve or in the or in a pair of panties. This pair I fixed. This one didn't have any in the legs. And I fixed this little pair too. It it'll it looks all right on the doll, but it when it's not stretched out, it wants to curl down a bit. But they're pretty thin little old panties, so. So what I do is, I take my seam ripper, and where did it go? It's right here. Where are we, are we here? That one I took out. This one. You can see the elastic here. So I opened this side seam under the arm seam, I guess. But with this one, you can't take it very far because you'd have trouble sewing it. I guess you could get it if you hand stitched it here, but so I just opened it a little bit like that. And then if you, you'll see the elastic on the back here. And I just take and Shove my my seam ripper underneath it like that, and then just pull it, tear it apart, and I go all the way around. Just being careful you don't catch the fabric on the other side. There, underneath the elastic. And then, I have done this one all the way around, and I'm ready to sew the elastic on that. This pair of undies, you can see where I have ripped that, and now, 
quite often you can just pull that and it'll just pull apart like that. Or if you go to the other side, you'll find this thread. And if you have it, and just give it a tug like this and pull it out. And then this, the little pieces of elastic will just fall off. Just like that. And now you're ready to put your elastic in here. Now this leg I have all ready. It's So I took the size of the elastic of the doll's leg and then left it a little bit longer so I have a little bit that sticks out here. I marked the center of the elastic and put it on the side seam. So then I just Put this under my sewing machine foot. I put my, I anchored at the center mark and I put it under the pressure foot and I catch it here and sew it a little bit. Now you can either use a small zigzag or just a straight stitch, whichever you prefer, and then you just Pull it, take that pin out and sew along. And you just keep going until you get to the center. Trying to keep that even. And then just continue on around. You want to put a pin at this end so that you have a little bit there. And keep sewing and stretching as you go. And this leg I have got it pretty well finished here, except I haven't. See, I had, I opened the leg seam and then line this up very carefully like that and then sew so the, the inseam there and when you go over the elastic here, back stitch over it so it gives it a little more security so it's not going to pull out on you. And it's it's easy to do. As I said, I did this one up. And I put red thread on the outside and I left the white white on the underside and you can't see the red coming through or the white. And I fixed this little pair up. They were in bad shape. So they got new elastic. Got like, there's always these little frame things on some of these things. And this was the little top that went with that one. I think this was my daughter's maybe first doll that they she they had was with this little outfit on. And I put a different kind of elastic around here because the lace was done. It should have been a narrower, but it's all I had, so I used it. So this is a, an elastic 
and it's sort of like a lace. So I think it looks okay. It's better than it was anyway. So that's, and this was another little outfit I've fixed up. There's another one of their dolls. There's a, I think there's blue panties that goes with that one. So that's how, that's how I did it. So if you're interested in finding out different things, how I do things with my dolls, be sure and subscribe. Be sure and subscribe. Touch the bell so you'll get noticed, notified. And follow me on Instagram. And thanks for watching. Bye now.